And most of the time, we probably only think about the Commonwealth while watching the Commonwealth Games, you know, seeing someone do the shot put or something like that. And membership in this club doesn't do a whole lot of tangible stuff for Canada, but we do know the world is doing a big rethink right now about global trade, which, for a country like Canada, which trades a lot, is not a great thing. So it's good for us to have friends, or at the very least, someone who will pick up the phone when we call. Now there are anti-monarchist voices out there. They think Canada should reject these kinds of colonial the ties Turn and chart left. a course entirely our own. Kinds of questions. To examine why we do things the way we do and look at other options that might exist. In that said, five kilometers, keep before right to merge we start, you know, tinkering with small aspects of it, we need to ask ourselves, I suppose, what, what problem do we wish to solve? What's the, what's the difficulty that we're trying to address? Let's just pause here for a second and go back to high school social studies. Sorry about that. So we know Canada is a constitutional monarchy. The Prime Minister is the head of government, and the King is the head of state. As for the Governor General and the Lieutenant Governors, they represent the Crown. It's symbolic, but not always. One political scientist has compared the role to a kind of constitutional fire extinguisher. That every so often something goes wrong and you actually need the uh, representative of the Crown to play a role. And that's a rare thing and it should be a rare thing. But the idea is to prevent abuses of power and to make sure that the ministry that's in place always enjoys the confidence of the representatives we've elected. So we actually saw this fire extinguisher get used relatively recently. It was in BC after the 2017 election. Christy Clark's liberals were one seat short of a majority. So she asked the lieutenant governor for a special action. But the LG said no. The opposition party should get a chance to form a minority Keep government. Keep right. Which they did. So a constitutional monarchy can offer a check on power. Our version is this uniquely Canadian mishmash of ideas that we actually borrowed from countries around the world over hundreds of years. And really, most of the time, we actually don't think much about it. And this, taking it for granted, can be kind of a good thing. It means it's stable. Now this may not seem sexy, until you look at countries that lack stability. Stuff like elections with a peaceful transition of power. Because it's often said, the market hates uncertainty.